What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA, and... <laughs> Arrowverse boss Greg Berlanti is possible candidate for DC Films' Kevin Feige. How about no? Yeah, how about hell no how about that one because there's no way in hell that greg berlanti is going to get this job okay we've already talked about this me and t discussed this on an earlier episode of movies with the homie i'll go ahead and link that above so you guys can check it out but we already talked about it and we actually discussed who we thought would be uh the best replacement the best kevin feige uh for this particular scenario um but let's go ahead and check out what these guys have to say and then i'll actually add some more to who we believe would be the best replacement not one but two guys but go ahead and let's check this out this is on comicbookmovie.com so it says uh warner brothers discovery you know they had that earnings call right and uh it says here it came after some troubling news like the shelving of the bad girl movie i didn't think that was troubling whatsoever i thought that was great news i thought that was phenomenal news that they put that thing on ice because remember uh we saw that plot synopsis and that thing wasn't going to be any good at all uh but yeah it says here that in order to keep the investors happy because you got to keep investors happy uh zav last said you know moving forward we're going to have our little 10-year plan for the content and then we're going to get our own kevin feige that's what they want to do they want to find somebody that could kind of spearhead and shepherd this thing and you know do a good job you know like it or hate it uh kevin feige has done a good job building out the marvel cinematic universe so they say hey man we want to do something like that and they had walter hamada but walter hamada um doesn't look like the guy at all so they're saying yeah we're looking to get somebody else somebody who can fill this feige inspired role and one name being considered is greg berlanti now for those that don't know greg berlanti is the guy that kind of created the Arrowverse, right and it goes on to say here that the trade reveals that berlanti has been loudly whispered as a possibility for the role look I don't care if they loudly shouted his name out from the mountaintops. There's no way in hell this guy is getting it. He's gotten an opportunity to create a universe, and you've seen what's happened to the universe he created. He's uh, one of the architects of the CW's Arrowverse, which includes Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, Superman, and Lois, all of which crossed over multiple times. He's also executive produced other shows like Titan, Doom Patrol, Black Lightning, Stargirl, Batwoman, etc., etc. Now, now in regards to the Arrowverse, I'll say like the first, maybe the first two seasons of Arrow were good. The good storytelling, good show, okay? As far as that's concerned. I thought the first two seasons of The Flash were fine, and I thought the first season of Legends of Tomorrow was all right. But after that, like the rest of them shows, just as T would say, basura, all right? Trash, garbage, especially these ones down here at the bottom. Titans, Titans, I don't know what they were thinking with Titans, but that show had a couple of moments, but overall, it just didn't work. Um, and you know, Doom Patrol, like I liked Doom Patrol to a certain extent, but it never really grabbed me to the second season, you know, so I never really finished watching Doom Patrol. Uh, Black Lightning, Stargirl, Batwoman, Batwoman especially, I mean, this guy has produced some decent episodes of television, but in terms of building out a universe, no way, no way. So David Zaslav has already got the book on this dude, uh, Berlanti. He already knows, like, nah. And that's why it says the producer also hasn't asked for the job, but the insider saying he probably wouldn't even be interested. He ain't gonna be interested because he knows he's not gonna get it, okay? There's no point getting your hopes up. This guy's not gonna be getting the job, bottom line. These are like prestigious characters, right? that need to have the spotlight you know it's like you have the trinity and you can't get that off the ground you talk about like three of the best fictional characters ever created in the history of any kind of popular media and you can't get that off the ground something seriously wrong over there at dc but but me and t talked about this and i got to give t the credit because i didn't come up with the idea we said who should be the guys spearheading the dc universe and you remember we talked about doing the duo of James and James, James Wan and James Gunn. And the reason why is just obvious. Number one, uh, James Wan has the pedigree, right? This guy, uh, not only as a filmmaker, not only as a producer, but a creator, right? He created the Saw franchise, right? He created the Insidious franchise. And then of course, uh, probably the most important one is he created the Conjuring universe. You know, talk about connected universes. We 
need to connect this uh, cinematic universe, this movie to that movie to this movie. He's already done that with the Conjuring universe. Now, you know, to a lesser extent, of course, than Marvel, he's only had like maybe 10 films or so, whereas Marvel has had 25, 26 films. Nevertheless, he's gotten the job done in that cinematic universe space. So of course it makes sense to do that. He's already on payroll. He's already making Aquaman. Remember, he was supposed to be making like a trench film and other kind of Aquaman spinoffs. So he was already building out a universe just with the Aquaman stuff. I guarantee you, he's got ideas up in his head right now. And then of course you got James Gunn and James Gunn is already on board, right? He's already done the Suicide Squad. He did Peacemaker as a television show. Both of those have gotten rave reviews. I enjoyed both of those films. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't bring him in. And of course, they've already said that James Gunn is going to have multiple projects moving forward. But if he's got already his little suicide squad that he's going to branch off, who knows what else he could do? So it's like, hey, look, I believe that in terms of popular entertainment, if you're trying to get this thing off the ground, James Gunn, James Wan, you know, I think they would keep each other honest. You have two creatives, not just one, but two creatives kind of bouncing ideas off each other, keeping each other honest about, hey, this is what we should do. No, 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 bro. We got to do it this way. No, 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 no. I think we got to do this. You get two minds coalescing together like that. Eventually, the best ideas are going to move forward because they're going to be ones that make sense. And with David Zaslav kind of overlooking both of these guys, just kind of like standing over their shoulder, just making sure, OK, uh, it's looking good so far is superman in the center of this thing oh okay so making sure guys because that's what i wanted superman in the middle of this and yeah let's make that happen but anyway folks yeah there's no chance in hell greg berlanti is getting his job i would absolutely laugh myself silly if that happened because this guy's track record is already speaking for itself and it ain't good but nevertheless folks what do you think about this idea go ahead and leave me your thoughts and your suggestions down in the comments below and i want to thank you all for watching see you next time